Welcome back. As promised, I have with me the co-founder and the director of SME Accounting Services Limited, Ms. Mukonki Mukonkela. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. First things first, maybe you can tell us about SME Accounting Services Limited. SME Accounting Services Limited, uh, as the name entails, is, a, is a, uh, an accounting firm that was created specifically to cater for the needs of the SMEs. It was founded in 2013 and with a primary purpose of ensuring that SMEs have strong foundations on which they can grow their businesses. Um, this idea came about because we noticed a, a huge gap on the market. We could see that there are big firms that work with big corporates and yet the SMEs were left out. So we saw that uh, me and my, my co-founder who's my, my sister, so we saw that really the SMEs needed a lot of help in terms of uh, you know, the help with um, managing their finances, financial management trainings, and also helping them get that very much needed finance to help them grow. Because for you to grow a company, you need financing. So that was uh, why we established this firm. Yeah. Okay. I am aware that you have a program running called Ndalama Market. Maybe you can tell us about that. Yes, so we, we actually have two products. The, we have a program, it's a radio program. It's called Ndalama Insights. Uh, this is a radio program that we are currently running. Uh, and it's designed to help the SMEs through their day-to-day -day challenges. Um, so it's aired twice a week. We invite different experts and we respond to the questions from the SMEs. So for instance, they might be having uh, you know, a human resource challenge. So we invite an expert uh, who's uh, really well uh, trained in, in, in HR issues and they are going to provide that expert um, advice to the SME so that they are able to uh, manage the, the challenge that the SME is going through. So that's Ndalama Insights. And then we have Ndalama Market. It's also a product of SME Accounting Services. This is an online app that is designed to help the SMEs prepare themselves to, for funding. So what the app does is, as an SME, if you are looking for growth finance or you are, you are looking for a loan, in other words, you can go online on ndalamamarket.com and you'll be taken through a series of questions. So you answer those questions. Those are questions that normally banks ask for when they're reviewing loan applications. And the reason you are going to do that is to assess yourself. Are you ready to get that funding even before you get to the bank? Because we've realized that most SMEs get to the bank and then they are, they are turned away to say, you're not ready, you don't have uh, financial statements, you don't have audited accounts, you don't have collateral. But before Ndalama market is designed to ensure that before you even get to the bank and waste a lot of your money, you, you more like do a self-assessment of yourself. And then when you, when you get the, the report or the assessment report from Ndalama market, it highlights areas that you need to work on. And then we help you work on those areas so that you, you stand a good chance of getting funding uh, to help your business grow. Okay. Mm. Maybe to just take you back a little bit, maybe what... what motivated you to come up with this firm? So I think it's experiences. I come from a, a family that is very business oriented. My parents are both entrepreneurs. My, my late father was an entrepreneur. And I think it's seeing from uh, probably the challenges that my dad went through. Because as we were young, my dad engaged quite a lot of uh, professionals, if you like, uh, to help him uh, manage his, his finance. And I think as I grew, I, I, I realized that actually at some point in his life, he did engage wrong people <laughs> mm -hmm. to help him. And, and you know, I, I became an accountant. And as I started working closely with my dad in managing some of his businesses, it really became clear that my dad had actually engaged wrong people to help him. So how do I help the SMEs, business owners who might be in a situation like, like my dad was, to you know, go to the right places and not just trust anyone who's walking on the road and calling themselves an accountant, and then you know, leading them on a wrong path. So I think that's where it really came from. So now I come from a, an accountancy uh, family background. I've got like three other sisters who are chartered accountants. So I think it was also a natural uh, thing for us to establish a, an accounting firm. 
So my sisters, my twin sister, I'm actually a twin. Nice. My twin sister and I sat down after years of experience. I, I worked for KCM, I worked for Moss Roland, I, I worked for Restless Development in, in various senior management positions. But then my twin sister and I just started talking and it came about that we could do this for the SMEs. And looking at our experience with my family in business and the rest, we, we decided this is the right way to go. And besides, we were chartered accountants and we had gained the relevant experience. So we decided to start a firm. And believe me, uh, when we were starting, we actually wanted to start a firm to help women entrepreneurs. So we called uh, the, the firm Accounting for Women. So, and we started from Kabwe. So when, when we, we, we opened the office, surprisingly, very few women were actually coming to find out about our services. We were at Chitanda House in Kabwe, mm. and very few women were knocking on our doors. But the men were very interested, <laughs> and they would knock and ask and say, well, so what are you guys doing? Mm. And no woman ever uh, came to our office. So we decided, I think we might have gotten mm. this wrong. So quickly, we started thinking of another name. And we came up with SME Accounting Services, and, and I think it was the right name which we should have had from the start. And this is basically all small and medium-sized entrepreneurs. And we want to help the SMEs grow. And we know they are, they are faced with a lot of challenges. We don't have all the solutions, but we, we, we are a good start. Yeah. I know someone might be asking themselves, especially those that are aspiring to become entrepreneurs, why should I register with you? Why should I engage you to mm. manage my finances when I can just add one plus one and I'll pay my workers and do the needful and I'll be good to go. Yeah, you, you are right to think like that. But actually, uh, there's a lot that goes on in terms of uh, accounting. Huh? Because you need to understand that accountancy has two different aspects. There's internal, uh, which we call management accounts. There's also external. So probably for the internal, you could add one or two and get what you want. But then you also need to work with various stakeholders. And those have got standards that they are looking at. Okay? And account, accounting itself has got standards that must be complied with uh, for your financial statements to be looked at. So yes, you could do one or two internally, but how about the other stakeholders? And when you want to grow your business, people need to see that you've been running your business professionally. And there are systems uh, that, that you need to have established that are going to earn the trust of the stakeholders that you want to work with. One of the biggest challenges that banks face when working with SMEs is they, they are so disorganized. Uh, their governance structures are, are not understood. There's one director who's running the show, he's everything, is <laughs> the bookkeeper, is mm -hmm. the cashier, he does everything. And then he wants to get a loan from the bank. The banks are very organized uh, structures and they, they require you to, to organize yourself also. As small as you are, you still need to show that you are a professional. So we add value in those areas. We help you uh, gain the skills that you may not have had. And also we, 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 we help you or open your eyes to areas that you may not have paid attention to. Um, so sometimes business owners think that investing in an accounting system is expensive. In the long run, it is not. There's a common saying uh, to say, if, if you think this is expensive, try ignorance. Mm. And that's very true because you might think that if I pay this amount of money in, in having this system, I'll be losing out money. But meanwhile, you could have employees who are stealing money from you because you don't have that system. Uh, so in the long run, um, having good proper systems creates a very strong foundation that can help your business grow. What is your track record? How successful have you been in this field? We have, since we established our firm in 2013, we've actually scored a lot of successes, I would say. Because, um, believe me, we, we did a project with the Private Enterprise Program Zambia that helped over 50 SMEs. And these SMEs, we created like really accounting systems, and these are cloud-based accounting systems. So I'm very proud to say we are using cloud-based accounting system, and we, we, we are onboard technology. We are not the old-style accounting firm, and I'm so proud to say that. We don't do our work from Excel spreadsheets and keep them at our offices, and you, the client, have no idea where the numbers that you are seeing in the financial statements are coming from. We are not that kind. And we are not the kind that will advise you to use old style accounting packages that add no value to your business. We use uh, currently a cloud-based software called Zero. Very simple, easy to understand, such that you don't even need to be an accountant to use it. 
So we, we, we established uh, the cloud-based accounting software 0 for 50 SMEs and trained them on five uh, management courses because we are also financial trainers, we train SMEs. So we trained them on budgeting. We first we started with operational planning. So how do you create an operational plan or a strategic plan which you translate into a budget? And then how do you get everyone in your organization to understand your operational plan so that they understand how their role fits into your overall strategy as a company. So we did that course as well. And then when you do your budget, you need to implement it. So you do your day-to-day -day running around. That's your actual. So now every month you need to sit down and look at your actual performance against the set uh, budget, which is your target, what you are aiming to achieve. So that's, that's the project we did with the private enterprise program, Zambia. And I must say it was really, really successful. And we've, we gained a lot of clients from that. And we are still working with them and we are seeing them grow every day. And you can even see the light in their eyes. Mm -hmm. Like you could see they were really struggling in the past. And now this director who's a doctor is able to understand her business well. She's able to understand what this number she's seeing on the financials really is made up of. And like, you know, in the past when she wouldn't understand exactly. any number mm -hmm. that she was seeing on her financial statements. So I would say we've really achieved a lot. And we've managed to do the, the Ndalama Insights radio program. We've run over now, I think, 90 programs. We are clocking our first year anniversary on the 21st of, of June. Uh, we started uh, Ndalama Insights uh, in 2016. And we, we are receiving a lot of positive feedback from the SMEs. I guess it's in order for me to say congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> so uh, back on the subject, who, what type of business should actually have financial records? It's every business, even if you are starting today, you still need to keep records. Uh, what matters is you need to keep records. How complicated is another issue. So you could say, I, I just started my business yesterday, do I need to keep records? Yes, you do. Because at the end of the day, when you start growing, that is what is going to create your track record. That is what is creating your story as you are growing. So when you want to bring in different stakeholders or investors in your company, they are going to understand where you are coming from. So every receipt matters. File them nicely. As you are starting, you can have simple systems. Maybe keep, keep an Excel spreadsheet because you are really, really small. Uh, with the package that we are using, it's got packages for startups, for growth, for expansion. And when, when you are starting with us, we pick you up as little as you are or as big as you are and work through with you, uh, no matter how complicated uh, your systems might be uh, until you are comfortable. Finally, yeah. um your last words? I would like to um, encourage the SMEs to really look at um, creating good, strong accounting systems. And also because, you know, when you go to a, a football match, right, I think this is what I would like to leave the SMEs with. Like Zambia was playing Italy, right? Imagine going to that game and no score is being kept. No one is, is keeping scores of how many goals have gone in. Uh, we are just playing and then at the end of the day they just say the game has ended. You wouldn't know who has won the game, would you? Exactly. And that would be really boring. You'd even wonder what was the point of that exercise. It's the same with businesses. You need to keep score. Are you keeping score? How are you doing as a business compared to your competitors? Are you winning? Otherwise, what are you doing in business? So many businesses go around without keeping scores of how their business is performing. So starting from today, I would encourage you to keep scores. And you cannot do that without proper systems in place.